This video will guide you through how to add an ARC Online map to an immersive section of a Cascade story map. To create a story map, navigate first to the story maps website at this URL and then make sure that you're signed in up here. Click on My Stories. And then Create Story. And then you're going to select a Cascade. So once it loads, you can enter in a story title. Um, let's say we're doing one for the Deep Creek Watershed. You can also add in a subtitle such as where it's located. And then you can change the background, but before you do that, you have to select Save over here, this blue button. And the story title here on the cover page automatically becomes the story title elsewhere in your account. So now that that's saved, you can add your image or video and browse for images. And then I'll navigate to my folder where my photo is saved. And there you have that. And you can edit the title here by selecting the pencil and then there's various different options here. Select the check mark and then you can scroll down here. There's a little plus and this is how you add a section. So click on the plus and it'll say you can add text, you can add media, a title, or an immersive section. So I'm going to select an immersive section. This is an immersive section where your maps live. Now you can have multiple immersive sections and multiple narrative sections in one story. So you can add a title here. For example, And then you can click on Add Media. Now this is where it comes in helpful to have already created your maps in ARC Online. So you can click on, under the ArcGIS tab at the top, you can click on ArcGIS Online, uh, or My Content. And then I'm going to select this one. Now you can add in a caption over here. Let's see. And again, I'd be much more expansive if this wasn't just an example. If I want the same map but a different caption, I can select Duplicate by coming and mousing over this, uh, this view and then clicking on the Duplicate icon. There you have that with a new option for a new caption. Now say I wanted to zoom into one in particular, I can click and drag and then zoom in to one particular area. And then to set this extent, I click on the pencil and then move over here to interaction disabled and then click on the check mark. Now if I want a whole new map, I can select the plus here. That'll give me a new one and I can go in and add the media again from my content, or you can add other ARC Online maps that have been published. Here you have that. You can change the position of the captions by clicking on that icon, and then moving it over, changing the size, changing the background, etc. You can add as many views as you want down here in an immersive section, and then you can scroll down, add a narrative section, which is uh, where you include media and text, or you can add another immersive section or title, and continue on. Once you've told the story of your area of interest, make sure to save by clicking over here. And then a green check mark should appear when it's been successfully saved. 
and then you also have to share it by clicking on the world switching it from the lock to the world so that the public can view it you can check whether your story map has any problems such as unshared media or corrupted images with the heart symbol here there you have it, how to create and add an immersive section to a Cascade story map.